Join me as I dive into the world of dating in the Philippines as a foreigner and see if I can uncover the things they won't tell you. Dating in the Philippines as a foreigner, it's like navigating a whole new world. On the one hand, you've got the vibrant culture, the stunning landscapes, and the warm hospitality of the Filipino people. On the other hand, you've got cultural differences, language barriers, and a bunch of unspoken rules that can make it tough to find that special someone. Today, I want to peel back the layers and give you a real insider's perspective on what it's like to date in the Philippines as a foreigner. When you're a foreigner in the Philippines, you've got a target on your back. People assume you're rich, that you're looking for a quick fling, or that you're just trying to get a visa. And trust me, it can be tough to shake off those stereotypes. You've got to be prepared for some weird looks, some awkward conversations, and maybe even some scams. And don't even get me started on the language barriers. Filipino English can be super different from what you're used to, and it can lead to some hilarious misunderstandings. Filipinos get English from watching social media like Facebook, TikTok and YouTube. They will use words that may be offensive in the wrong company. They adopt many first world habits wanting to be progressive and accepted. One of the strangest things I saw in the stores was soap that would lighten your skin. But the biggest challenge of all? Figuring out what's real and what's not. Filipino culture is all about saving face, avoiding conflict, and being polite. So if someone doesn't like you, they might still be super nice to you just to avoid hurting your feelings. And that can be super confusing for a foreigner who's not used to that kind of dynamic. You might think someone's really into you, only to find out they're just being friendly. Or you might think someone's trying to scam you when in reality they're just being overly polite. So how can you navigate through all these potential cultural pitfalls? The key is to educate yourself and be aware of the differences. Take the time to learn about Filipino culture and customs, and don't be afraid to ask questions or clarify things if you're unsure. Building relationships with locals who can give you insider tips and advice can also be extremely helpful. Another important aspect is understanding the concept of saving face in Filipino culture. This means that people will often try to avoid confrontation or embarrassment, even at the cost of honesty. So if a local tells you something that seems too good to be true, or promises something that seems impossible, it. And then there's the whole concept of haya, that's Filipino for shyness or modesty. It's a cultural thing where people are too shy to express their true feelings, especially when it comes to romance. So even if someone's really into you, they might not show it. That can be tough for a foreigner who's used to more direct communication. On top of all that, you've also got cultural differences when it comes to relationships. In the Philippines, family is everything, so you might find yourself meeting the parents on the second date. Or you might find that your partner is super close to their family, which can be a big adjustment for foreigners who are used to more independence. Some Filipinos have recognized the drawbacks of their culture. They walk a respectful line between their culture and the ambition to become financially self-sufficient. So what's the key to navigating all this? First of all, learn about the culture. Understand what makes Filipino people tick, what their values are, and what they expect from a relationship. Be respectful of those differences, and don't try to impose your cultural norms on your partner. Some Filipinas are eager to adopt other cultural norms because they have experienced the hardships of their own culture. They have worked as an overseas foreign worker and bring back what they learned. When it comes to dating, things can move fast in the Philippines. People love to get married young, and they love to have big families. So if you're looking for something serious, that's great, but if you're not, be upfront about it. Communication is key, especially when there are cultural and language differences in play. Some Filipinos embrace values from the Spanish indoctrination. One thing that's really important to remember is that Filipino people value respect and honesty above all else. They want someone who's genuine, who's trustworthy, and who's respectful of their culture and traditions. So be yourself, be honest, and be respectful, and you'll go a long way. I remember this one time when I was out on a date with a Filipino girl, and I made a comment about her family. I didn't mean to offend her, but I didn't realize that family is such a sensitive topic in the Philippines. She got really quiet, and I knew I'd said something wrong. But instead of getting defensive, I apologized and asked her to explain. That opened up a whole conversation about cultural differences, and we ended up having an amazing time. On the flip side, their family may say something offensive. Don't get upset just teach them the proper usage of the words. That's the thing about dating in the Philippines, it's not about avoiding mistakes, it's about being willing to learn from them. It's about being open-minded, respectful, and genuine. And it's about understanding that even when things get tough, it's worth it in the end. 
So that's my take on dating in the Philippines as a foreigner. It's not always easy, but it's definitely worth it. Remember to be respectful, to be honest, and to be open minded, and you'll have an amazing time. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got your own experiences dating in the Philippines, share them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about dating or cultural experiences, check out my next video where I dive into the world of digital nomads.